Oh, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another one. It's an absolute gorgeous day out here with the man, the myth, the legend, yes, sir. Slay Daddy. It Slay is bright out. Oh yeah, it is bright out. Need the glasses on. Had, had a flex on us with the, look at this. No. Look at this man. Oh, no ray bans though. But we're going crappie fishing tomorrow morning. So we got to pick up some baits today. We got some intel from someone and there is a big old on my car. And it says Sammy sucks at fishing. Shout out to whoever wrote that on my car and thank you for the lovely I appreciate that. We're gonna go inside runnings here. We're gonna go pick up some baits and I'll see you guys inside. Oh, rip. I don't know what that strat was, but uh, we made it inside the store here. So like Slay Daddy was saying, we are going crappie fishing tomorrow morning, but Sam and I, we're not the biggest like springtime crappie fishermen. So we had to come to the old run-ins here and pick up some lures. They're, they're biting really small stuff and we don't have the small stuff because we catch biggins only. Oh, oh, what? What? Oh, look at that. Even a small town in South Dakota, they still know. They know what's up. What's up? What are you doing back there? Oh no, he was are, are you are you just like I'm chilling on your phone? <laughs> Sam and I are going crappie fishing tomorrow morning. Okay. We need you to show us like where your like small okay. jigs are and like that. small plastics. Like we need that. the juice, man. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know where he's going. I know. Where are we dropping? Lumber. That's where you got all your oh. little, little jigs. Oh, minty. Little plastics. We need the one sixteenths jig heads. <laughs> we got some right here. Oh, those are some tiny little buggers. Bro, you have to come with us tomorrow. Yeah. I'll try to. Like, you're hooking us up with the juice right now. Yeah. We'll hook you up to with the juice tomorrow morning. Okay. Look at those little suckers. All right, I'll let you choose the lure, Sam, and then I'll go. All right. I think I'm going to pick up... Uh, what am I feeling? What am I feeling? I'm going to get these little, tiny, 1 16th ounce jig heads. These are going to be good. And then I'm going to pick out a plastic as well. And then my plastic, I'm going to use to pair up on my jig heads. I'm going to go with these guys right here. I mean, this thing is called the Crappie Buster. So, I don't know. I'm, I got a good feeling about this. Sam, what are you going with? I got these little leeches. I've never seen these before, but they look absolutely fire. This is a black leech. I obviously like a natural color. And then I got a little green little tail. I've never seen a leech like that, but I'm guessing that'll work. And then we got this white jig head with a pink tail. And I think that'll stick out pretty well in the water. And I don't know. I feel like pink is always a good color for copies. So we're going to try these out. And hopefully we can catch some. And hopefully Mr. Aachen can make it out tomorrow morning. Hopefully. We'll see how tired I am. Anyway, we're going to go home and then we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Alrighty folks, what is going on? It is the next morning. Sam and I may or may not have played a little bit longer than usual on Warzone last night. So we slept in a little bit. It's about 6.25 a.m. in the morning. We gotta get down to our spot because we see some other people here and we wanna get to the spot before they get there. So it's actually pretty cold out here. We got a front coming in that may make the fishing good, may make it bad, not really sure, but let's go fishing. Oh golly folks, we are out here underneath the bridge. No clue how much you guys can see. All right, here we go. We're using that jig that we got yesterday and that little plastic. This is just great for the knees boys. Like, goodness gracious. All right, so we're just casting by these pylons. Let it sink to the bottom and give it a slow reel. There we go. First fish of the day, boys, under the bridge. I think we got a crappie, oh god, yeah. Oh god, this is super hard to fight fish under here. Just because of the freaking current. Oh god, how am I gonna land him? Come here, lots of good crappie. Oh my god, oh my god, under the bridge. Oh. Boys, I don't know if, how much you guys can see under that bridge. I just caught a nice crappie, look at that. That is amazing. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear anything, but I'm flipping jigs under there. Let's go. There's one right there. Another little crappie. Give me a little guy, this one's a little smaller. There we go, that's an eater. They're munching this little green jig, boys. But all you do is throw it by the pylon, let the bait sink a little bit, give a little slow reel, and boom, this one's a little smaller, but this is a great keeper to eat. All right, now we're gonna get back in there. I know you guys can't hear anything, I'm sorry. There's 
another one. This one feels like an eater again. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a nice one. There we go, there's number three. I'm starting to get on a roll here, boys. They're dialed on the green, the green lures, boys. Oh, let's go. I knew this green lure would be the juice and it's producing so far, I have three. So these crappies are just kind of hanging out by this little waterway just because there's so much bait being moved back and forth. So they're just sitting by these pylons hiding, waiting to ambush all of these bait fish. They're hoping to get an easy meal. So all I'm doing, like I said, just giving a cast over there, let it sink a little bit. And we're just giving a slow reel in. Oh god, there we go. I got smoked on a pause, boys. I was literally on a pause. There's another keeper. My feet are getting absolutely drenched. I decided to wear my small booties today and I'm getting absolutely murked. I don't know how Sam's doing. He's on the other side of the bridge, but I'm doing all right. There we go. There's another one. This one feels pretty good, boys. Oh yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Oh God. Oh God, this is a good one. Come here. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my God, yes. Yes, oh my God. Let's go, I'm going off boys. I'm going beast mode right now. They really like it when you just let it sit there. Like I threw by that pylon boys and just let it just chill. Absolutely just chill right there. Another good eater. Oh. There we go. Let's get it. Let's freaking go. I finally caught one boys. Cheese and rice after 20 minutes of fishing. I switched up to that black and green one and uh, we get a nice little chunker. Oh, that was a money cast right there, boys. Oh, I got tapped. There we go. There's another one right there, boys. Oh God, yeah. All right, my legs are absolutely drenched, but I'm catching fish, I can't complain. All right. I'm basically doing a wall sit this whole time. I'm freaking fishing. No, they like the green. There's another one. Back to, dude, I have them dialed. I have them dialed, bro. Oh God, bro. This is a nice one. Just freaking dialed over here. There's one right there. Oh god, dude, they're munching this color, dude. Call me the crappy whisperer, boys. Oh, dude, I'm going off right now. Oh, yeah. Money. Come on, baby. My legs absolutely kachowed. There's another one. Right by the pylons, my guy. I'm telling you. Absolutely smoking them. Mmm, let's go. I love crappies, boys. You know I love crappies in the winter. I still love them in the spring. I got one, Sam. Oh, God. I was helping Sam get a tangle. Daddy's hooked up. Another one. What up, Ricky? I feel like we did pretty gosh darn good today. For the conditions that we had, uh, it's not the greatest out, as you guys can tell. It's a little windy, a little cold, a little rainy. We managed to do all right. I Let's got go, baby. Five copies myself in one nice little yellow perch. And uh, John absolutely laid the hammer. I'm lucky that we didn't do a challenge today because I would have gotten clapped by him. Yeah, the um, one time we don't do a challenge, I murk. Yeah. What? Okay, boys, check this out. All right, so I have two big ones in here, which we aren't gonna harvest. We're gonna let them go. I just wanted to get a few pictures. Oh, look at that. I mean, that compares it to the bucket right there. Just an absolute giant. And then I have one more big one. 
Oh, look at that other daddy, dude. Just a freaking behemoth. Takes up my whole hand, probably around 13, 14 inches. Got the nice black head. And then we got the rest of my fish in there. So that is where we're gonna end the fishing excursion. Sam and I, we freaking clapped it. Give me, give me some. But as you guys know, Sam and I, huge catch clean cook guys. So we're actually gonna take these home and they're gonna be golden crispies here soon. So it is now the next day guys. And we have our lovely bag of crappies right here. We're gonna be cooking them for dinner. We're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna have a good old fashioned fish fry. Here we got some shore lunch and then we're gonna get some eggs and some milk to kind of, you know, batter it all up. So you guys just stay tuned and I'll get that process started. So I put in three eggs, put a little splash of milk and whisk them around and they're good to go. And now we're gonna take our fish fillets out of the water, dry them off with some paper towels. Then we're gonna throw them into the egg wash and let them soak in there. We're gonna get the batter all ready and then I'll see you guys there. So we let the fish soak in the eggs and then we put the fish into here in the shore lunch here. It's just our original recipe. Pretty simple. And now you're just gonna create a big air pocket, shake it around and uh, get some of those fillets all seasoned up in here. We could double dip these, but I don't think it will be necessary. This is gonna be pretty freaking good. And then we have a little pan with oil ripping. We're just gonna turn up the heat to medium high, let it soak and get it hot. And we're just gonna add a little bit of butter for uh, good luck. The butter kind of makes everything uh, stick together a little bit better than just plain oil. And uh, what doesn't butter make taste good? We're just gonna swirl this around, kind of get it everywhere, mix it in with the oil a little bit. Oh boy. So if you guys want to check if your oil is hot enough or not, you just take a little bit of your shore launch or batter, sprinkle it in there, and if it doesn't bubble, it's not hot enough. So we're going to let that sit there for a little bit longer, get it to temperature, and then we're going to throw the fish in. All right, we're going to test the oil and see if it's hot enough. And as you guys can see, it bubbled up right there. That's what we want. We're just going to take our fillets and lay them gently into the grease, just like that. We're kind of trying to pick the same size of pieces here. They all cook evenly. I'm excited, this smells good already. Alrighty, now we're just gonna let that cook for about two or three minutes each side, depending on how hot your oil is. Um, this I'd probably say give it 30 minutes and then flip it, basically you just check until she's golden crispy and it should be ready to go. And uh, you guys just hold on tight, and we'll see how long this takes. So here we got the fish, and this fish is a little more looking different color than these ones, mostly because, well, we didn't have enough shore lunch for all the fish, so I just sprinkle in just a little bit of flour, and the flour doesn't really have the same texture or whatever, I don't really know how the science works, but it doesn't turn out the same color, and it gets burned a little bit faster, so that's what we ended up with. Still looks absolutely amazing, but they're gonna be crispy, and they're gonna be delicious. But we gotta do one thing before we eat it, um, so basically I let them sit on the cooking pan, just like on the cookie sheet, just like that, with some paper towels laid down, and then pat them on top, so oil doesn't get all, you know, it doesn't get greasy. Basically, there's only one thing to do left and there is some SPG. You're just gonna take it and sprinkle it across the whole thing, fast and lightly. Try and get all the pieces, then you're done. Now, I'm just gonna let that sit there for a little bit and uh, wait till everyone gets in and then we're gonna have dinner and I'll see you guys then. Oh my, my guy, fish and chips, you went off, dude. All right, take a bite of your masterpiece, my guy. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Whew, she's hot, all right. Look at that nice, juicy, crispy crappie. I almost said walleye, but they're crappie. So, we're gonna go in, cheers. Mm. We're just gonna take this guy right here, perfect size. Look at that. Oh, if that doesn't get you going, I don't know what will. So cheers again. Fire? How's the move? Mm -hmm. Break a little piece off right here. Ooh, this was short lunch, Sammy. All right, here we go. Let's see if Sammy's a good chef. You're a good chef. That's good. Wow, very flavorful. That was good. Let me try it with a fry. All right, so we got a little fish and chip action all in one. Here we go, two for one. Mmm. That goes like that. That's really good. Wow. I'm gonna be like 100% honest though. Sam and I have been eating a lot of walleye lately, and this is like this is not as good as walleye. Not crappies are not as good as walleye in my book. Drop a comment down below and let me know what what do you guys like better, crappie or walleyes? For me, I think walleyes are at the top. So freaking amazing. But that was super good. Oh, 
Oh gosh, look who it is. Fish right. and chips. Want to try it for us and let us know what you think? I do. Is this crappie? Mm -hmm. That's not the shore launch. That's flour. Mm. That's good. See ya, Sam. Thanks for making me dinner. You're the best. Well, folks, we just got done eating that amazing meal that Sam prepared, and he's taking off to go hang out with the lady. But just wanted to end the video here, and man, we had a great time crappie fishing. Again, I don't know if I mentioned this in this video, but I haven't really crappie fished that much this spring, or ever in general. We ended up finding a spot that was super fire. A subscriber actually told us where it was, so huge shout out to you. Thank you very much, man. Absolutely slapped them, and then came back here and had an awesome meal. If you guys have any good crappie recipes, drop a comment down below and let me know. But other than that, that's where I'm gonna end today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you guys are staying safe during this whole quarantine thing. I know it's getting kind of weird and getting kind of lonely and stuff like that, and so am I, but if we just stay together, guys, we're gonna get through this. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.